Hi and welcome to another OpenBSD how-to that focuses on playing modern games on OpenBSD. This time we're going to look at Celeste. Celeste is a 2018 release title um, to great released to great critical acclaim, uh, which fortunately is built up on the, the FNA framework uh, for the Linux port and the Mac port, I think, uh, which we will take advantage of. Caveat being that uh, the sound does not work, which is because of the use of um, FMOD or FMOD Studio rather, uh, which is not, which is a closed source audio framework, and um, it is therefore not available for OpenBSD. So we need to find a workaround to that. We'll get to this in a minute. Uh, first of all, the recording functions have changed. If you want to do a screen recording you're gonna have to do this with the snapshots after I think uh, June 4th um, which I just did to enable the audio recording because uh, out of privacy concerns the recording function is disabled by default now it has to be enabled by the super user um, then uh, there's a few other things that have changed uh, so, we'll get to this in a minute. Um, we need the uh, FMOD Studio and um, a, a, a stub library. We need to make a stub li library of FMOD Studio library functions. And um, here on my web page, there's a new way to get to those. So, I'll show you here on the CVS web. You can see it's under projects. FMOD Studio stub, and here is where you can find the file. You can download it here. Here you can get the file. Alternatively, you can go here, and here you find instructions how to um, check out the repository with CVS. Um, so you just enter this command, and then you'll uh, receive the uh, the directory with the files contained in it. Um, let's see, okay. So here you see the FMOD Studio.c file is in CVS project FMOD. Uh, we'll follow this little instruction here to build a, a shared object library. So we'll use Clang here, but otherwise the Parameters are the same as with GCC. But you see we have an object file here, we need to do the second step. Okay, we can remove the object file. Okay, um, next thing we download Celeste, uh, which I've already done, but I recommend getting it from itch.io because there you don't need, as opposed to Steam, you don't need to um, get the uh, like the Steam client and you get it DRM free. And here's the download page. And the most recent version is here. I tried it with the with a little older version. I hope it still works the same. Um, it's already been downloaded, so I usually make a new directory. And now we unzip the zip file here, which will take a little moment. To used to tell you about uh, Celeste. Uh, Celeste is a uh, hardcore platformer. It's probably the best description. It's got, um, it's it's very like quasi pixel perfect. It has, has great controls. Um, a story is about a girl that uh, tries to climb Celeste Mountain and is facing her fears as she does it. Okay, let's look for the uh, Lib F1 Studio and um, first we'll actually do the uh, 
Fnifi, because this is an FNA game, like explained with Stardew Valley. Um, yeah, I just need to get the path correct. Okay, now we copy libfmodstudio.so uh, here. Do we have it here? Yeah, we do. Okay, uh, one more thing. Is it here? No, it is here. So I'll play with the game controller. So our SDL2 port has a uh, hack uh, to uh, set. Uh, to customize the game controller layout, I am using a Logitech Dual Action uh, gamepad, and these are the uh, mappings that m that fit the best that map it so that it works with the games as intended. Um, uh, the hack is that um, instead of the usual way, which doesn't seem to work on OpenBSD at least at this point, uh, it just if there is a variable SDL game controller config in the environment, then it takes that one and, and maps it based on that. So this is what we're doing here. And now let's see if everything works. As I said, there's not going to be any sound because the Fmod Studio library has been stuck. Okay, here's the intro. No sound, but as I said, you just run your favorite soundtrack. And I'll try to fast forward. Okay, and here we are in the game. I've already played it a little bit. You can go to the options here. Rumble, I don't think works. Um, but yes, so here's my last uh, save file. Uh, let's start a new game. You, so you can see the beginning. Okay, this is where it starts. The game is overall about the. The story is focused on the internal struggle of this little character here. And you see, controls are nice and smooth. I'm playing with the gamepad, and I'm climbing up here. And here we have a conversation. I'll try to skip through this. I've played it too, I think the fifth or sixth area. I forgot how many there are. Um, uh, there may be a few more FMOD. I've been pragmatically uh, stopping FMOD Studio functions as they came up in the game. Fortunately, they always tell you the name of the function that stops so you can can stop it based on that. Um, uh, there may be more later in the game or in something like the B sides or I think there's even C sides or something. There's a lot of content in this game and it's a lot of fun even without um, sound so um, there's an FMOD studio Oh, no, there's an FMOD stuff that has been made for a game called Aquaria. It's open source edition. Uh, however, this here's FMOD Studio, which is a little different. Also takes care of the timing of events, I think. Uh, so we don't really have something that can actually like translate it to open AL at this point, at least not to my knowledge. Feel free to tell me about it if you know of something, but um, this is the best we have for the moment here on this platform. You can collect these strawberries and they're kind of an intrinsic reward, they say, but you can show off your accomplishments to your friends if 
should collect a lot of strawberries. Like this. And it's actually a rather tough platform. So I'll probably die soon. I'm bound to die at least somewhere. Here you can't dash because otherwise the strawberry is going to disappear. But I got it. I actually could have dashed upwards from there. The dash can go in all directions. Like up, right, left. What I learned recently, you can actually um, dash and then jump while you're over the ground to uh, uh, give yourself a speed boost in a horizontal and horizontal planes like this. Let's see if we can show it here. Like this. Okay. This here is a little trickier. Okay, but I got it. I'm not sure if something's here. I never figured out what this area is for. Oh, and here I died for the first time. Okay. But yeah, it's a fun game. Very modern for especially to be running on OpenBSD. Proud to say this is as far as I know, the first 2018 released game, especially the first 2018 released commercial game, to run on OpenBSD. Okay, and here's Theo. Okay, I'll leave it at this. But you can see this is a fun game. You can play it, you can have fun, especially if you have a gamepad that you can plug in and, and map. And um, even without the sound, it's quite fun. I wish there was a way to get the sound to work, but we're not there yet. Um, to finish it off, let me just show you the command to uh, get the to check out the source temp now, and then you do CVS minus D, and then you do and CVS at CVS CVS. This tells you where the CVS root is, and then um, check out. Um, typically, you would want to add my dash p uh, in order to uh, avoid um, empty directories, uh, which we don't have here. I, th I think I'll add it, um, uh, and then it's projects. F Let's studio stop. Okay, I think I made a syntax error. Let's just do it like this. Okay, and then you see it copies the whole tree in there as specified. Okay, here you see, here's the file, and the CVS is, is um, the CVS metadata is also in there, the CVS repository data. Okay, so, but there's nothing else in projects here because we specified that we just wanted uh, F1 Studio step. Okay, I'll leave it here in temp, and yes, I hope you have fun.